Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to Red Dirt Rods. Now today we're continuing work on our Gen 5 L83 5.3 liter V8 that we pulled out of a 2015 Chevy Silverado. As part of our DOD delete, we are upgrading the camshaft from the L83 cam to a factory LT5 camshaft that we bought from GM. And the reason we have to do this is because the LT5 does not have DOD. It's an affordable cam. I think it's about 150 bucks versus spending five, six hundred dollars anywhere else. Granted, you get custom specs, but the specs on the LT5 cam are really pretty good, especially considering what the L83 has in it. Now, the you can do this same swap on an LT1, an L86, any of the other DOD engines but you don't have to switch the valve springs because they already have the correct valve springs in those engines. The 5.3, however, has a smaller valve spring that can't support the lift of the larger camshaft. So we've got these new valves. These are all from GM, valve springs, I should say. We've got new valves and uh, retainers. Those you have to replace. We also are gonna go ahead and swap in new valve seals because we're there. Now we're not pulling the valves out, so we're not lapping or doing any cleanup on any of that. We're just gonna simply pull the springs, replace them, and move on. And we're gonna show you guys how to do it for your project. In order to do this, we're gonna use this cool little Lingenfelter manual spring compressor. Just threads into where the rocker arm goes. Now obviously we have this off the engine, so we're gonna use a uh, folded up towel. You can use paper towel or whatever, but you just put that right underneath where the valve is. Then you just take a breaker bar or a ratchet, this is 3 8 and you press down, okay, just like that. As soon as you press down far enough, the keepers will pop out. Use a little magnet. Then we release, lift up, pull the old spring off. Now we're gonna use a pair of pliers to pull out the old guide. <clears throat> Sorry, this is the seal. Now, the original seals on this engine, the brown seal is the exhaust and the black seal is the intake. On our new ones, the blue seal is the intake. So, before we do anything else, we're gonna take a little bit of uh, brake clean. And we're gonna spray the pad down just to get any built up gunk and oil off of there. So we get a decent seal. This, <clears throat> take a little bit of our assembly lube just drop a bit in there, use a pinky, spin it around, get a little bit on the top. Take this, you drop it on. I like to use a socket to just seat it. Grab the new valve spring and retainer, drop it on. We're reusing the keepers. Then you just press down, drop a keeper in, go to the other side. Sometimes they fight you a little bit. Okay. Then raise it up. And that's all there is to it. If your valves are really dirty and corroded or whatever, you can replace the valves at this point, but then you need to do a valve job. You can also lap your valves in if you take them out, but because we're not taking them out and we're leaving them in position, we're not gonna do that. Now, we just need to do the rest. All right, now we're gonna do the exhaust. Just snug that up. Push it down. Pull out the keepers. Just like 
like that. Lift, remove. I'm gonna go ahead and pull this so you can see the seal side. So here's the seal. I'm just gonna use a pair of pliers and pull that out and discard that. And this one gets a new brown seal. We're gonna hit this. A little bit of brake clean. And we're gonna use a little bit of assembly lube. Get that on our finger, get it in there real good. Like to put a little bit on the head too sometimes. Sometimes you gotta spit on it. If that's wet, you need to clean that off. Then just drop the new seal on, and I like to use a socket to seal it, push it down. All right, now we're gonna put our tool back in. Valve spring, push it down, drop in a keeper, slide it around to the side, drop the other keeper in. There we go. And you're good. Now he's finished. Let's make magic.